Another week, another Dark Side of the Ring episode. Oh, yes. This week is a very special one, not only for us, but very much so for the guy that was actually featured in part of it. <laughs> Fe- featured? <laughs> <laughs> I was not interviewed. I feel like you are leading they them They cut astray. it. It was on the cutting room floor. I mean, that would have been cool. I don't know what I would have said. I would have said, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> that would have been my contribution. But yes, this week, Dark Side of the Ring, Nick Gage. And they went over a lot of stuff. I guess I I guess I I didn't expect them to go over I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't think they were gonna talk about him dying. I don't know why that I was figured it was all. They had to. That was stuff. like the biggest yeah. part of Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't think that. This one felt like very not strange, but like surreal to me because I'm very much involved in like all like this is like I grew up with this. Like, this is me yeah, yeah. here. Yeah. So seeing this, like, on a different stage like that was very cool. They start off just kind of showing some crazy stuff. Um, most of these shows that they show Gage on, I was at, or I've seen already, but I, a lot of them I was at. Uh, That's like, crazy. That's why They show the No Rope Barbed Wire with Thumbtack Jack and Gage at the start, and, like, I was mm-hmm. at, I was at that show. That fucking show was sweet. And then I think that, that Cage Death with Thumbtack Jack and the No Rope Barbed Wire, I think that happened, and then two days later or a few days later was when he robbed the bank. Uh, I don't know why they didn't say that though. Cause I don't, uh, I feel like that was kind of a crazy connection too, but they didn't, they didn't didn't really make a timeline. So yeah, Yeah. no, no. They also showed a shot of Eddie Kingston from tournament, tournament of death four, which (laughs) yeah, they did. (laughs) Uh, They asked Gage why, why death match wrestling? And he said, right. Cause I'm a little crazy in the head. (laughs) (laughs) He said, cause it ain't the payday brother. (laughs) Oh God. Yeah. No kidding. They have John Moxley being interviewed for this, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Just, that was sweet, I mean, yeah. He was very much in, uh, around when, I, I don't know if, I think he was still in the company when, when that happened, so that makes sense. And His Nick Gage persona that he put on when he was talking about him was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it gets him fucking hyped up. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that he protected the pizza cutter spot for the doc. Oh my cool. God, did he? What a, what, yeah. a, what a champion. Good brother. But yeah, so as James was saying, they, they were showing the Gage Moxley match again, a match I was therefore mm-hmm. uh yeah oh yeah Mo- moxley was so fucking over then too so moxley dipping into like that side of czw was cool because he was he was so fucking good everyone knew he was gonna be a big deal yeah mm-hmm. absolutely also another part that like it kept throwing me off i'm used to hearing jericho narrate these but hearing jericho <laughs> narrate <laughs> yeah. this yeah, was, that was so crazy. weird yeah. yeah him saying combats on wrestling and <laughs> mdk <Tournament> <laughs> yeah like MDK. Death, yeah <laughs> Him explaining uh, how why this is out in the middle of a field it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. There was also some there's uh one timeline issue that I don't know why they I guess they just try to make Gage seem important. I'll get to it later on though. They uh interview Brett Lauderdale uh for some of this. Brett is somebody I've known since I was fuck. I a young know, lad. Fifteen, I think I met Brett. Wow, really? Yeah, Brett, uh I mean a lot of this and uh, we'll get to it one the bank robbery thing, but CZWfans.com was a message board I used to go on religiously. I still do actually. It's standing fans now. I wish they would change the name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there used to be an old ROH fans board too. Yeah, yeah. And then Kevin Steve shut it down. <laughs> Had to happen. It was for the best, honestly. Dude, when when the ROH CZW food was going on, being on those forums was so fun because it was just a shit show. <laughs> All the wrestling forums back in the day used to be fun, honestly. I, I probably I, was, th- I was probably on a cycle of like Dude, eight different ones yeah. back in the day. Oh my god, I was on so many, and that's <laughs> that made me who I am today. <laughs> <laughs> for better or worse, online video games. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so like CZW fans was like, if you knew how many wrestlers <laughs> were on CZW fans <laughs> under other names, uh, I could want one of them, a uh, f- former WWE champion that everyone wishes would come back to wrestling, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was definitely on CZW fans some time. Nice. <laughs> uh, maybe one of the or two for PWG it was definitely on there. Under... Oh, one hundred and twenty percent. I mean, like a lot of booking influence, like you know, indie wrestling booking influence was just from the internet, and CZW fans was a gigantic fucking part of that. So it's just gauge, that's where, yeah. I, so that's where I met Brett, uh, and uh, Brett obviously went on to be a big part of this, you know, episode and runs GCW and stuff. They go into the light tube incident. Actually, Tony and I watched for our Patreon, SGH Live. Yeah, we did. We what number that. was that? Do you remember think, early? Uh, it was... I'll have to take a look, but it yeah. was... Because your internet was out or something. That's why you weren't there. Yeah. Or something yeah, I, like that, Pretty right? sure my whole... The whole power and the whole town was out that day. Yeah, because wow, you were really? only on... Yeah, that's right. Because I feel like you, like... 
joined in on your phone at one point and we were like, oh, what the hell? Hey, <laughs> hello, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Sorry, son, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, I remember but that. Yeah, if, if you're curious about watching that in- event and seeing our reaction to the incident that they go over, you can check that out on our Patreon. I got, I'm trying to find what episode that was. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. It was SGH number four, actually. Yeah, that's early number on. Four. Yeah, it was number four. CZW Tournament of Death 8. Uh, I was there live. So it's very fucking weird. I to was see there live too in the, in the. Oh, yeah, you were so. in the field. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that show was in DJ Hyde's parents' backyard. <laughs> uh, they had a big fucking field in their backyard, and that's where the show was happening at. And Gage gets thrown into a bunch of light tubes, fucking cuts his shit up real nice, and allegedly dies for seven seconds uh, in a helicopter. I remember, I remember it happening because I. I'm pretty sure at the time I was actually doing stuff for CZW because of Brett. Brett was having me help do the newsletter that would get sent out to like oh, Kevin really? Insider and stuff like that. Yeah. That's and cool, I, man. And I was yeah. also doing the live results for the Twitter, for the CZW Twitter, by my on my shitty little cell phone that like <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's phone. wild. Yeah, and I I'm pretty sure I had like an ear infection that day too. <laughs> like I remember it being a <laughs> shitty day. <laughs> so this all so that's all happened. Like I just I remember having to try to live tweet the end of that show where like that happens and then Xandig comes out and wins the tournament. Like it was very <laughs> tough to to talk, like figure out what to tweet on CZW account. But yeah, so seeing that in person was really crazy. I don't think I understood that how bad it was until after where I heard he died and all, but I remember everyone freaking out. I remember Rory Mondo running around trying to get stuff. I know Maven Bentley was running around, like the helicopter fucking comes and like oh. no one can leave because they like ever people were trying to leave. And an ambulance was trying to get through, but it couldn't get through because of how long the traffic was. So that's why they had oh, to get really? a helicopter. That's yeah. crazy. Man, honestly, with how much time it took, dude, I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised that he didn't bleed out. Yeah. It was a lot of fucking blood, too. I mean, yeah. you can see it. It yeah, immediately yeah, yeah. drenches his jersey. They asked Gage if Gage thought that would be it for him wrestling-wise after that incident. And Gage said, no, I ain't going out like that. <laughs> 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 like, like what? <laughs> Death? Yeah, like that. <laughs> I, I ain't dying. I ain't dying. Nah, I got one more spot. That ain't me. Ain't that crazy? He wanted. He genuinely wanted to go out and finish the match. He's dying. Yeah. Dude, he's like, I got one more move. Can I go out there? You I guys? got one more move. Take he was telling like, he's like, can we go out there and you guys could like bring me back so that it looks like <laughs> yeah. they won't let no. me go out there? No, dude. <laughs> you can't even walk right now, bro. <laughs> you are. If you try dying. to stand up, that's it. <laughs> I got one yeah, more probably. spot, brother. One more spot. That is literally the definition of we got one more spot, brother. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like I, I don't know, man. That's. I hope you never fucking do that. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going out like that. <laughs> Just in the ring, dead. <laughs> Fuck, that sucks. They uh they go over Gage talking about like his his relationship with his mom uh and his brother Justice Payne, who was also a big part of early CZW. I think 2008 was when they show the clip of them in the ring. I think Justin Payne leaves a little bit after that and goes to Pro Wrestling Unplugged, which is like the rival company that the. Uh, that Johnny Cashmere and Trent Acid ran, which I ran their fan board too. <laughs> uh, Gage talks about him and Justice Payne like tearing the fuck up of uh, the you know their parents' house just because they loved wrestling and their dad got yeah. them into wrestling and he probably regrets it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were doing trampoline no rope barbed wire matches and I think we should just do that for DPW. <laughs> My favorite thing was, was he was idea. like he said that uh, they would put the th- stuff up for the trampoline because they had watched a Jack and Terry Funk match and he's like yeah. And then we found ECW and it was awesome. Like how the fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Dude, like, how do you that, start with Japan? Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I don't even know how that worked. Like, where did he hear about this? That's crazy. I was tape trading, right? Like, tape yeah, trading. He, but he was like be... young, young at that point, yeah. right? <laughs> Come on, brother, you weren't tape trading <laughs> punk tapes at school <laughs> for Japan. The boys are tape trading Japan in second grade. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they go over the tournament death for. Uh, fire incident that i wasn't at that one i actually what's weird i was supposed to be at that show that tournament of death i'm pretty sure was supposed to be in philly and i was going to go to it but then they got like they weren't allowed to do it in philly because of light tubes and shit i think uh, oh really so i got moved to Delaware. So like a city thing i think so it might, yeah it was like an athletic commission thing that said hey fuck oh off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay yeah so they show the gauge fire spot which is there's a pretty much just like plywood <laughs> between the barricade and the ring apron with glass stacked on top of it with and it's on fire 
and Zandig suplexes Gage <laughs> over the top rope, <laughs> and they go through it, <laughs> and they are both on very much on fire, uh, even after the land. And Gage has a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous line here, <laughs> where he says, "They told me to stop, drop, and roll." Yo, that shit don't work. <laughs> <laughs> It shows him he's not even stop jumping and rolling. He's just like shoulder rolling on the ground. Yeah, uh, he's, yeah he's definitely not stop jumping and rolling. No. He didn't stop at all. He's like, I'm on fucking fire. <laughs> he's just this shit failing. Doesn't work. He's probably yelling he's, that this doesn't work. He turned into a wheel. I don't know what happened. Yeah. He said, that shit don't work. I love watching everybody scramble around looking for the fire extinguisher. Oh, God. <laughs> Why were we not prepared? The cameraman's like stepping over him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm new. I'm I don't new. know what to do. <laughs> I got the fire on me. And he said, <laughs> "That's why they call you Nick Cage, the new maker." <laughs> so he talks about that leading to him getting more into like painkillers and popping perks and stuff. I'm not sure how true this part was. He said that he would go into a doctor's office and say that I'm Nick Gage, and they would give him like a 30 prescription. <laughs> That's no, I that's don't, true. <laughs> that's exactly that's. Ex, I mean, I like, I think that's how it works. I think he, I don't know, dude. It like is pretty much how it works. There's like, there in the past few years, there's been like a legitimate almost reform on the opioid crisis. Doctors would really literally, I'm not, I'm not gonna say he said, you know, I'm not gonna say <laughs> I'm Nick fucking gay. He's like, <laughs> fuck yeah, MDK all fucking day. And he gave no, him a bunch no, of no, fucking no, perks. Yeah, 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 but he yeah, did yeah. walk in and say, my back hurts. And he goes, here's oh, perks. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, there's like a legit opioid wow. crisis. Yeah, that's how it is. You can just say anything. Which is him. horrible. Fucking really? That's crazy. Yeah. You should not have been able to do that. But yeah, he got pretty much addicted to that shit. They go over the CCW hate main event. So... This main event, is it's called CZW Hate. It was the eighth anniversary for CZW. The main event is Nick Gage versus Justice Payne, who's the CZW champion. Uh, they show this clip. You can see me in the front row with yeah. my very Yo. blue Chris Hero shirt. I'm sitting next to my buddy Marcus. My dad is on the other side of me. I don't know if you can see him, though. And it's exactly what it was. It the rest, This is the main event of the show. They wrestle barely. Like Gage is just not with it. Justice Payne hits the pain thriller, which is like a... If you, if you played the old SmackDown games, it used to be called the Judgment Slam. It was kind of like a angle slam but it would dump you on your head yeah it's yeah. almost like he turned it to a sheer yeah. drop instead yes. of uh right yeah and so the angle it was slam. like a burning hammer angle slam yeah it's it honestly thing. really dope <laughs> it was fucking great i don't know yeah. why anyone st steals it probably because it probably hurts <laughs> <laughs> uh and then uh gage's shoulder gets fucked up there uh just pain wins that match is, was genuinely three minutes like really? that's how yeah and like uh, which is strange because i retweeted something about the, uh, about this guy earlier but so that happens they don't show this on there but after that happened uh the fans are like losing their mind chanting for like super dragon and kevin steen guys that like czw kind of like said fuck off to right just pretty much shitting on everything then drake younger came out and wrestled justice pain and kind of saved the show and that's when like drake became like a star in czw oh, really? which sadly <laughs> sadly What's things up with gone, that dude, man? uh up and down <laughs> i feel like drake and gage kind of flipped sides yeah I, we need a dark side episode on fucking drake younger god yeah that's just real scary. fucked up dude yeah, i don't know yeah i don't know man he is fucked in the head absolutely yeah and then the month after that i actually made a video for the eventually they did a gage drake match and i made a Hype video for it for CZW, which weird. Oh, yeah, and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, it was a trap on that. No, it was, uh, I forget what song I used. But uh, with the name. <laughs> Gage talks about getting kicked out. Like he was pretty much homeless. His girl, he was living with his, like in his girlfriend's parents' house and then got kicked out of that. I'd never seen his girlfriend before. So I've seen her a lot. At shows, but not oh, really? around They've been dating that for a long time. time, like a really long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, if you watch the GCW, the first GCW Backyard show, I think they do Marco Stunt versus Logan Stunt on there, and there's a part where they're on a trampoline hitting each other, and you can hear and see her screaming at them to stop being <laughs> pussies and hit each other harder. <laughs> Get a clue! That's yeah. awesome. So Gage, uh, like, pretty much broke into Lauderdale's house and was sleeping on his floor, which, and he got kicked out, and Gage said, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, he's right. just like, fuck Brett. Yeah. Love that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> then he goes on to, they, you know, goes on and robs a bank. It was a PNC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout PNC. out. Shout out PNC. <laughs> yeah, thanks for making it easy for us. Yeah, fuck Appreciate you, Wells Fargo, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he went into a PNC bank. He said, I have a gun. Give me all your money. He did, he did not have a gun. So this is, okay, I vividly remember this because this mm -hmm. was insane to me. Maybe I got my timeline. Maybe the Thumbtack Jack one was the year before and then the Cage of Death 
happened and he was on it and then this happened. Because I, for some reason, I remember being backstage and Gage was back there. <laughs> this is a funny story. Uh, I was with my buddy James and I remember th there was... <laughs> no, no, it's all right, not you. <laughs> Yo. He, uh, I remember there was a bunch of cupcakes back there. Like someone brought cupcakes for Gage's death. Mm -hmm. And Gage... <laughs> Got a cupcake. <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> now listen. Somebody brought cupcakes for the cage yes. of death. That's very for nice the cage. That. Yes, it was very. It was very nice. I, I didn't get one, awesome. but uh, it was for the workers or something. I don't know. I remember Gage had a cupcake, and it he dropped the cupcake, and the look on his face was like <laughs> life changing. So I don't know if that is what led <laughs> <was> to. <laughs> I don't know if that was the breaking point or what. But I remember that happening. He sold the cupcake. Nick Gage sold the cupcake. He sold it. He was upset. He really wanted the. That's cupcake. a worker's worker. He's like, I don't think. I think it was shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the pictures being posted on the CZW fans board when they first came out. I remember thinking this is fucking insane. I remember messaging like all of everyone. Uh, my dad was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so we all know it's Gage. No one like he's still out. I know that much. You know, anyone that sees it knows it's Gage. If you know who Gage is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long after that is when he gave himself in. But I do know that the Atlantic City part is absolutely true. That he went and gambled at Atlantic City, and I know that because I remember hearing from one of my friends that a mutual friend of ours saw Gage with new Whoa. Jordans at a casino <laughs> in Atlantic City and gambling and they gambled together. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is like, on the run story. with new Jordans. New Jordans. That's sick. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Shout out Richie. <laughs> uh, Mo uh, they do a thing where Mox talks about you know why the fuck didn't he wear a bandana on his face? He wears a bandana. I love that. <laughs> in his entrance. Which for... Fair, but if Gage walked into a bank with a fucking anything covering his mask, they would have immediately bum rushed him. Yeah, <laughs> like, probably. I don't think he was, yeah. You know, so eventually Gage gives himself up. Uh, he turns himself in. Uh, he says that you know his brother never visited him in jail. That fucking. I sucks, like how he said he had to go to Burger King get his favorite thing, a Whopper. The Whopper. And then, then he drank a forty and smoked a blunt and then turned himself in. <laughs> there was one time. Here's another story. There was one. There was one CCW show. I think it was supposed to be Pain and Gage against two other people. And Justice Pain comes out, like, everyone's out there. And then, like, three minutes later, Gage shows up, like, looking not great with a Burger King bag. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he, he, he eventually eats this Whopper on the apron while the match is going on. Fuck, I gotta find that. I need to show you guys that. Yeah, I uh, that just unlocked that memory for me. I remember thinking that was really weird. Turns out I don't think it was... I don't think that was planned. <laughs> I think he just showed up because there's a Burger King around the corner from the arena. <laughs> so he talks about, you know, all the fans uh, sending him mail while he was in jail. Uh, and then he talks about getting fucking prison jacked, which I think James is going to eventually be doing here soon. <laughs> yeah, when I get to prison. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's to go to prison just to get the workouts in. <laughs> I always love seeing the footage of Nick Gage coming back just ripped as fuck he like he looked like a whole different person it looked like he had like it looked like brian pillman went and got surgery to look like <laughs> 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 yeah you're right <laughs> <laughs> i mean i because my, my favorite part is that uh when he came back like that everyone started making creative characters of him with him being just like this super like body guy, <laughs> huge traps, <laughs> just monster. And there was a while he was wrestling without a shirt too, and he looked that was awesome. I love that era of Gage. Yeah, that was me sweet, too. just because it was it was so different. Yeah, very much so. It was. I mean, especially if you look at you know the video of how he looked when he was gone, like yeah. when he first, you know before he was gone, it was like this is unbelievable. And he was even more over than ever. So he's jacked and he's over and everything's great. Yeah, everything's going good. <laughs> he came back at CZW Best of the Best, which I was there for because I, I only went because I knew he was coming back. <laughs> 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 Fuck everything else. And then they talk about the first uh, Nick Gage Invitational. So here they say Brett like started up a company and this was his first show. But that I don't I don't think that was true. I don't think the NGI was his first show with gcw hmm. um, what was it could be, i feel like it was just like because I, I feel like he was already doing like there was another deathmatch tournament that he already done like before this that danny havoc won and i think gcw was already running a couple shows at game changer world already so i i think i don't think that's true but i mean it makes for a better story so that's fine yeah sure so the nick gage invitational which is obviously you know nick 
Gage is, is supposed to be his show. Turns out that Nick Gage is unable to be at the Nick Gage Invitational because he got arrested <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, he's out on parole. I was at King of Trios that weekend, and I remember getting a text because I think King of Trios night one and the NGI ran like head to head. And I oh, remember really? getting a text from somebody saying, Gage is not here and he's in jail. And I, I that was, sucks, I lost honestly. my mind. Yeah. I guess he, I don't know what he was doing. They don't really say what he was doing, but I mean, you know, you can imagine. I, I, he was I taking feel like a I drug heard, test. I heard, I feel like I heard that it was just, uh, he was like smoking weed, but you know, anything is, you know, you can't do anything when you're on fucking So they, they were saying that uh, the way that I took it is they tried to do a drug test and use someone else's yes. urine. Yes. He's also using like a device to put the urine in there. They have like fake it's probably a fake stuff cock. That you can use. Yeah, you can. Yeah, the way <laughs> they explained that was kind of fucked. <laughs> He's yeah. like, so did, so did he talk about? It? Why? Why yeah. am I saying this in Jim Ross's voice? Did, did he? <laughs> so did so he, he talk so, about? So Nick Gage the penis, had the his penis device. <laughs> Where's the device? If he tried to whip out his Johnson, and they realized it was not his Johnson, and he gave her his constitutional rights. I know this isn't make for good podcast audio, but there's this thing called the Wizenator. Look at this thing. This is I've what seen people this. use. Yes, yeah. people use this thing. This to... is probably what he used. The Wizenator. Yeah, no, that's so sweet. They, they caught like, his Wizenator. <laughs> I wonder where that is a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Just now. <laughs> On your nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he, he uh, tried to falsify urine. He got arrested again, put back in jail. Whose urine they... was it, huh? I want to know. I, I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare uh, uh, question that. I will never sure. ask about somebody's piss, Tony. They said he went to jail for two more years. I feel like I don't remember it being that long, but maybe it was. That sucks, dude. Yeah, he's everything's going fucking sweet, and he goes back to jail for two years. Fuck. Then they get into the David Arquette match, which is still, to this day, one of the in, most insane things I've ever watched in my entire life. If dude, you've not they seen showed, this match. Dude, they showed B-roll footage here, and they showed Violento Jack unmasked. Oh, yeah. What that's the fuck? fuck? Yeah, that was fucked up. <laughs> I guess. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't tell people that. Cut that out. <laughs> Kefe, bias Kefe. Yeah. Damn, bro. I know. That sucks. They shouldn't have did What You know what's also weird? How much blood and shit is in here, but they had to censor fuck when people were chanting Nick fucking Gage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you're what? right. Maybe. That's I don't weird. know. It's just American thing, I think. America sucks. Hate this I country. Hate America. Shout out to Anthony Agog. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's popular right now. I don't want to get unpolitical here. So, oh God, we're gonna don't just save so, it. Save that shit. Right. I do like David Arquette though. He said, "I'm a former WWE champion. You can never take that shit away from me ever." <laughs> That's awesome. This match actually, I'm pretty sure this match was originally supposed to be Gage versus Joey Ryan, and Joey Ryan got hurt. So they it had was, to, yeah, yeah, it was. I they had to that, sub yeah. in somebody else. There, I, I did hear there was supposed to be somebody else. In that match, and it would have been pretty sick. And Arquette uh, was ended up being in there instead, which still doesn't sound real to me. No, yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's absurd. So uh, supposedly Arquette and Gage had a steak lunch <laughs> before the match, <laughs> before the, going over the match. And Gage said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill you." <laughs> <laughs> this is for real, dude. Arquette said, "Okay, just don't cut me." <laughs> I'm gonna cut you. That's the one thing you don't say. Please yeah. don't cut me. Oh, you're gonna of get course. cut now. Murphy's Law. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. cut you now. <laughs> they go they go over the match. Gage is over as fuck. Our, our cat talks about how he's supposed to throw some shitty punches and then Gage was gonna kill him. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> they show Gage using the pizza cutter, similar to what he did to Moxley early in the episode, just cutting up Arquette's head. And Arquette's like, this, what the fuck? Arquette you, worked the pizza bro? spot too. I was like, damn, that's cool. But he didn't seem happy about it. Nah, <laughs> he I, was... no, not too happy. <laughs> Especially don't when he don't think mouth. anyone's real like, happy about cut that. My, cut my mouth for him, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> cut me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll cut your mouth. Then Gage breaks a light tube over his head. He goes to dig the light tube into his forehead. Arquette freaks out. Backwards, double legs Gage. <laughs> and then Gage, trying to you know catch himself, stabs Arquette in the neck with the light tube. Oh. And Gage said, oh, I looked at him. I said, oh, shit, did I just kill David Arquette? <laughs> <laughs> What a great! I that's the best a great commercial line. line ever. There's probably he's. You think he's the only person that's ever said that in his life? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure David. <laughs> I'm pretty sure David Arquette showed up to this interview just fucked up. Like the, he, he was so out of it. I love David Arquette. I want him on DPW. Honestly, I think he'd be great. Yeah, we'll stab oh, yeah. him in the throat. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> just Please don't, don't cut, cut me. Right, I'll don't kill you. Me, yeah. <laughs> what did Arquette think was going to happen here? So like. Gage has a light tube to his forehead. He's going to cut him open. 
and then he's going to shoot on Nick Gage. <laughs> the, guy holding, the guy holding the light tube. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's they, not like, a lot of getting gets, out of you, this. You see, he gets fired up and like swings a chair as hard as he can at Gage. Dude, that that's, so yeah. that's like an iconic shot for me. It's fucking crazy. I wish they would have just had a fight. <laughs> Just, they, they almost got there, really. Yeah. Uh, Gage pins them. It's it's over. Uh, the show Arquette's like TMZ interview. He's saying, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that afterwards. <laughs> so weird. I don't know. I, maybe, maybe I'll find somebody nice enough in life to do this for me. But I think David Arquette sent Gage uh, a mattress after this. Like a, oh. a real, like a whole mattress to his house as a. As a gift. Thank you for not killing me, gift. I guess so. I don't think what? Gage. I don't think Gage ever used it. Right? <laughs> yeah, he sent him a mattress. What we should do the... a giveaway. We're gonna give away a mattress. <laughs> no, mattress. The same mattress, actually. Uh, then they go into more stuff about Gage's brother, Justice Payne, uh, committing suicide. Uh, the bridge that he committed suicide on is it's like the bridge that kind of is like between Philly and Jersey. Uh, it's fucking very. I remember that day too being. Real fucking weird. I just didn't really believe it. Not that I like knew much about Justice Payne's like personal life. I knew, mm-hmm. I, I I knew he was like a construction guy. I think it, he might have been working at a bar one time or something like that. But it's just weird because I, you know, I was watching Gage and Justice Payne when I was you know like ten years old, and then just he, you know, hearing something like that happen where he jumped off a bridge is like fuck. Yeah, I didn't know the part where he like stole a car and then and then jumped getting, off the bridge. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. about that. That's. I don't know if that was just like he was trying to, you know, death by cop or what. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I'm not too sure actually. Because I don't. But... Cause it's because Gage said he wrote a note, so it yeah, seemed like he was. That's what when they said planning... that he stole a car and then jumped off a bridge. I was like, yeah. Well, I mean, do we know it was like a suicide? But I guess he wrote like a note, so maybe. Yeah. 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 Which made me think it was maybe he was trying to death by cop and just said fuck it. But yeah, the, the whole honestly, the whole end of this is pretty. Like heavy, like Gage is saying, you know, yeah. he knows he's gonna die sooner or later, and he's cool with that and all, and he's he's like, whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. just, uh, and then like pretty much just putting Gage over as being over. Mox says, you know, Vince would kill to have one person with the connection that Gage has with like an audience. Which yeah, I mean, you can't deny that Gage is like for a while now been probably the top indie draw. Yeah. Like, oh no, absolutely. Yeah. Having him on your show is yeah huge. I mean, he his the you know Nick Gage fans are different kind of cat, <laughs> different kind of shark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was pretty much it. And uh, real crazy stuff. Like I I guess I knew all these things, but when you put it into like a you know a forty five minute episode, it yeah. is like damn, this shit's fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really. <laughs> but it, it seemed all all accurate to me, other than like maybe a couple things that seemed a little off. But I I actually thought it was a pretty good episode. I think it did justice to all those fucking crazy stories i i don't know what more they could have went into i feel like everything was uh, maybe the i don't know if the justice pain thing should have been talked about more i don't know if they maybe they just didn't know more or whatever Mm -hmm. um i mean they hit the yeah they definitely hit the big stuff for him yeah it was good it was again jericho (laughs) narrating this whole fucking thing is (laughs) so so weird it is incredibly weird i fucking loved every second of it i uh i mean far be it from me to hope for anything else because i mean aw gives us enough but the word was gage was supposed to be in the casino battle royale when matt seidel debuted like matt seidel ended up being nick gage's spot really and we do have a casino battle royale coming (laughs) soon uh so i'm just saying you know i mean oh man imagine if you got the licensed music too dude oh my god holy shit that would be be crazy so Fucking crazy. Because you know, I mean, <laughs> With you know a, a full lot of crowd too. Dude, oh, oh my dude. god. Wow. I Insane. didn't even think about that. Yeah. I don't know how many I don't know what the actual viewer number is for Dark Side of the Ring, but I imagine a lot more people just learned about who Nick Gage is that probably yeah. do watch AEW, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think I think there's crossover for sure. Yeah, they do a really I mean, good job about like putting yeah. these episodes like Brian Tillman's first so everybody knows, you know, they're tuning in to see right. that and then you'll get the Nick Gage one so you'll learn a little bit more. And you know, this is, I mean, this episode that people are going to be talking about, for good or bad, you know, depending on what side of the fence you're on, like, I, I imagine Cornette people are going to be shitting all over this, but I feel like Nick Gage is going to be the talk of the town for the next week or so, so you got some time to, you know, ride that, uh, ride that, that wave and bring him an AEW, even for a one-off, like, That would fuck. be so sick. 
Gage, Moxley, and Kingston against fucking Bucks and Kenny or something like, or like, Kenny and the Good Brothers, something like that. Oh, like, that is so good. What yeah. the fuck? That'd be so sick. Yeah. Jr. commentating a Nick Gage match. Oh, doesn't <laughs> even matter. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next next episode, Dark Side, we got Collision in Korea. Ooh. That's the one episode next. So, mm. so James, you said you know a, a bit about that already, right? Yeah, I know, I know most of it, yeah. I mean, some of the stories are crazy. I listened to, I think I listened to Bischoff's podcast about it, so I know it a little, I, I feel like I know a decent amount, like, of the mm-hmm. setup and all, but I don't, I, I'm interested to watch, because I don't, I think I'm, there's a lot that I'm missing about it. Yeah, it's actually, the whole thing It's hilarious. a big, like, propaganda piece, right? Yeah, the whole thing is, like, it failed on every imaginable level. It, yeah. Like it was just a complete yeah. failure on every imaginable level. Um, such as such as life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Inoki was trying to use it as a platform to get reelected. Didn't work. Yeah. Uh, Korea tried to use it as a platform to seem like a big deal. Didn't work. WCW really? tried to sell it as a pay per view. Nobody cared. Uh, yeah. Scott Norton almost fucking died. There's like oh, so much bullshit with this. It's, it's going to be yeah. a cool one. I'm looking forward to it. 